All right, today we're checking out more fake disorder cringe over on r slash fake disorder cringe. Yeah, the name's pretty self-explanatory. And you guys love this series where we all just cringe in harmony at all the fake disorder videos going around the internet. I'm just shocked that there's a whole dedicated Reddit to this. Like, that really blows my mind that there's that many clout demons on the internet, mostly on TikTok. But anyways, let's jump right into the video. Non-human alter waking up in the morning happy that it got to front. <laughs> nah, what the fuck was that? Like, just picture this for a second. This dude is on all fours pretending to be an extraterrestrial being on another planet for his TikTok page. I have to go to work. <laughs> just becomes an NPC out of nowhere. Like, that was the most NPC voice ever. I, I have, have to, to go, go to work. work. Like, this dude looks like Ezekiel from Total Drama. You know when he just turned into, like, some random creature? Yeah, that. that. Hey, guys. So, we're playing Fat Fidget today. No! <laughs> Sorry, no, that's seriously what you do when you hang out with the homies. Nah, that's sad. That is sad. You play with a bunch of fidget toys and post a video faking Tourette's on TikTok. Wow. No one is pulling up to the hangout, bro. Fucking nobody. Um, so, um, I got this thing. <laughs> okay, so guys, I got these globbles and... <laughs> Wow, it looks so realistic. I'm so I'm so convinced all three of them have it. This is definitely being filmed on an iPhone 4 or some shit. Like, the quality is fucking boof. And how many of those goofy-ass Among Us Poppet toys do you need? Like, I could see five of them on the ground right now. Choose a mental disorder, depression, anxiety. We're not talking about starter Pokemon out here. We're talking about disorders. Bro, just picking and choosing like it's a Pokemon starter. Um, this one doesn't seem so bad. Ah, you know, it's just a mental disorder disorder not not bad man nothing bad at all man all good in the hood fuck you mean this one doesn't seem so bad like they're both bad like people who live with them are struggling with them this probably ha should go without saying but there are motherfuckers out here faking disorders on tiktok and this is a series on youtube where gen z can't answer the most basic questions time to co-regulate by stimming with someone you love So apparently dancing is stimming now. Yeah, now I don't know what the fuck stimming is, so uh, Google says it's a repetitive or unusual body movement or noises. And yeah, I finally did research for a video. Clap it up in the comment section right now. But aside from that, this does not look unusual at all. Like you're just dancing. <laughs> Plus, that's the most generic dance move in the book. Like, motherfuckers were doing that shit, like, in the 1920s, bro. Like, that doesn't seem unusual at all to me. But yeah, apparently, that, that's not normal at all. That's so abnormal to dance. Oh, my God. How many pronouns do you have for these supposed alters? How am I supposed to believe you have that many? Vamp slash vamps. Like, I'm not addressing you as vamp. Bro really wants to be Playboy Cardi so bad. And I'm not addressing you as exile slash exiles. Like, my fucker, that is a verb. Like, bro really just whipped out the notepad and started thinking of literally anything and just jotted it down. Like, oh, oh, boat. All right, we'll put down boat slash boat self. Self-diagnosing yourself because you don't feel like dealing with ableist doctors is valid. Oh my god, queen. Pop off. It's so valid. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, what? what how are they being able is by diagnosing you with a disorder. Oh, no, no, I feel you, bro. I feel you. My doctor is so ableist, man. Y you're valid, queen. Oh my god. Yeah, no, always diagnose professionally, not from fucking TikToks that you saw. Like, motherfuckers really be self-diagnosing because they saw some TikTok and someone said, this is a symptom, and then now they're, they're fucking going crazy. Scroll through all of her videos for about 10 minutes, and this is the only one where she shows her tics, quote-unquote. W stims and ticks. Listen in three times speed. Please, it hurts. I'm gonna lower the audio a lot in Vegas because it is pretty annoying and loud. So apparently this is the only TikTok of her ticking. So, wow, man. You're doing a really great job so far. Like, she's practically throwing up gang signs at the end. Like, you can't get any more fake than this. Actually, you know what? It looks more like shadow puppets than gang signs. Yeah, you know the wolf and the rabbit you would, like, fucking put up to a flashlight on a camping trip? My ADHD be like. What is how stupid, stupid Sally would do it. Where's my phone? 
I lost my phone. You lost your phone. I fucking lose my phone all the time. Yeah, and you don't see me saying I have ADHD. Everyone and their mother loses their phone at some point during the week. Like, that shit happens to me, you know, daily. I'm like, ah, oh, where the fuck did I put my phone? I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, it's a trait of ADHD. Wait, what were we doing? Seriously, don't know where my phone is. I had it two seconds ago. Hey, Siri! This is the most NPC TikTok I've ever seen. Where's my phone? Oh no, I lost it. This is like your neighborhood NPC right here. Wow, that was really quirky and funny. I bet everyone with ADHD is fucking falling out of their chair laughing. Hey Siri! <laughs> hey Siri! <gasps> Got it. I <laughs> got your phone. Hey, yeah, I'm so happy for you. Wow. Like, no one gives a fuck. I'm falling out of my chair right now. That was so funny. Dream, 21 years old. Cis male. He, him. This is like cosplaying to the next level. Like, literally pretending to be him. Or thinking you are Dream. Seriously, still wonder how all, like, the Dream SMP members feel about people doing these stupid-ass authors about them. But guys, I think I'm seeing Dream right in front of my own eyes. Like, seriously, can I get an autograph, please? Like, I'm, I'm your biggest fan, man. I I'm such a big fan. How can a diagnosis ruin someone's life if they've already self-diagnosed? It just confirms their suspicions. And so we just got a comment asking, and now we're about to get the answer. When you get a professional diagnosis that's on your medical records forever. Many jobs do background checks, and some look at medical records. If those jobs find out that you are a system, you can be discriminated against. I don't even think employers can look at your medical records. Again, don't quote me on it. Like, I don't even think they can. I think you're just making an excuse so you can keep faking did. And so you cannot go get a professional diagnosis from your ableist doctor, quote unquote. That post earlier was so stupid. Finding doctors. When we were talking about this with our therapist, she told us that... Um, if you have a professional diagnosis and you go to the hospital, they don't need permission to get your medical information since it's all shared. I can guarantee you all their alters are Dream SMP based or they're from like a TV show or a movie. Most likely Dream SMP. Let's keep it a bug. Um, and they will not take you seriously if you are a system. And they probably won't take you seriously if you're out here faking did or self-diagnosing yourself with did then that's when they won't take you serious no one on the for you page will take you serious like you're just spinning some bs right now um because you have a professional diagnosis because it is a stigmatized disorder that not many people truly understand that is how it could ruin your life as someone who got diagnosed eight years ago, has had three different jobs. No, they cannot look at it, lol. HIPAA's a wonderful thing. Yeah, kind of figured they couldn't look at it. Bug felt a switch coming on, so they recorded it. Bug. They, them. So Bug conveniently had the camera ready. All right, let's see the switch. I am on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> They're literally just staring into the abyss. I think I forgot to press A, that's why. There's no switch yet. Oh my god, it's happening? It's happening. Okay, it looks like they're rebooting, resetting like a robot right now. Bro, this dude went to grab the camera, like like no one's fallen for this like if you if you were let's say you did actually switch or whatever the altar the other altar wouldn't know that the camera is recording was recording and a tiktok was being filmed but yeah bug in five yeah those are real real w names right there it's so one of your altars named sid because you look like that one motherfucker sid in toy story no right uh, de, de, de. neurodivergent people calling out their friends neurodivergent traits among us in real life sus, sus. Oh my god, Among Us Sus! Are you gonna say Among Us Sus when you see someone do something and you think it's a symptom of autism? Like, there's no way to be like, Sus! Like, you're at a point and say it like a five-year-old. There's no way. But, you know, I guess, I mean, I've never really had anyone in my life that's done this. I feel like that would definitely get annoying if someone just pointed out symptoms of autism to you that you were doing. Sure, sometimes they might know what they're talking about, but just leave it up to the doctor. <laughs> POV, you're autistic and not autistic. 
What? But yeah, in short, these videos are fucking goofy. Comment goofy if you made this far. But yeah, one of my homies, Poncho, if you haven't heard yet, dropped the song, Who Am I? Check it out. Like, this shit's seriously fucking fire. It's the song in this outro. If you fuck with it, go check it out. Link in the description, and I'll catch y'all later. Straight after 7, 8, 5, just landed. I fell from the sky, head fly.